what made you like just compete for this and just try out for this before you even like got the title because i know it's super huge like in the states i didn't realize it's that big of a day like to be like miss yeah i didn't know i i can't believe it even <laughs> 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 what made you what made you be interested in that because you have your own own thing going on yes. like a personal trainer thing yeah you have uh classes to attend School, yeah you're living in one of the most expensive cities i guess <laughs> it is very in expensive. the world yeah if you just google on youtube <laughs> just give him the honey bit down. it's attracting the bees thank you so yeah what made you because there's so much else that's going on in your life there what is. made you choose this so that they can send you back to a third world country to do all these you know amazing things yeah let's go with that <laughs> let's go with that yeah so i saw the previous women who did the competition yeah and i was very impressed by their their commitment to doing something that had a huge impact and so i saw the same vision and i wanted to go after the same vision and so i had that vision of competing in this competition yeah you know i told all my friends i told all my family and then i was like is this really happening yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. so just seeing even angela who's here in um nairobi shout out to angie yeah. shout out to angie yeah. um she has done so much with her platform and it's been so encouraging watching her journey and mm-hmm. then there's another queen here her name is Fozia Mohammed mm. she was Miss 2015 okay and I also did some work with her in 2016 she came here really? yeah she came here she we were at I think Nairobi Hospital mm-hmm. and we were in the cancer ward with the pediatric children and so she is a dental hygienist d- dental hygienist mm, mm-hmm. and so we did tutorial on oh, toothbrushing like, yeah, and yeah. gave them toothbrushes and yeah so she's very committed to also serving and being a role model to young children mm-hmm. yeah and that's something that at least you know inspired you to get yeah okay so it's not only about the beauty the outside. yeah i mean this is one aspect but you okay. know okay. We'll, we'll get to that we'll get to that <laughs> Trust me, I have a lot of questions when it comes to that. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, during like just the competition, uh, how many how many entries were there? I'm not sure how many entries, but there, I, I think the fin- there were 15 finalists. 15 finalists. Yeah. So it's basically like a huge, really something yeah. that's because you apply mm-hmm. and then they do like a background check and stuff. Yep, they review your application and then they tell you. And then you have to go through six months training mm. before the actual competition. Ooh. Mm. Okay. In w- a different state or where you stay? It, so it's we do it. So you have um, to fly out to a different state to go and do. So the the six months we did the training online. Okay. And then we had one week in person to do the final round of training. Where? In Seattle, Washington. Ooh. Have Ooh. you been there? <sighs> Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Yo, please give me that visa approval. 